and I was looking for my wife. She's supposed to be interviewing me and I can't find, find. What the? What are you doing in my car? I was gonna race your car so I could get that double two light again. Oh. And Bobby Fazio. and I'm here with Mark Sargenta and I'm here with Robert Fazio and we're in front of this beautiful 1964 and a half Mustang. The owner is Mark. Um, Mark, so how did you get this car? What's the story behind this car? Okay, so we have to go way back to 1974 and it was a local track by me and I was out with my street car racing at the track and I was like, you know, I go to the track, I go to work. So my dad said to me, maybe you should build a car just for the track so you don't take your street car. And I looked around and I found the car and that's how this car became the race car. Nice. So how long were you racing for in this car? Like how many years did you do it racing? On and off. So I started racing the car and then I got married. So the car kind of got put on the side for a while. And then my sons you know, came along and then they had to go to college. And then after all that, my older boy said to me, why don't we you know, put the car back as a race car? Okay. I said, that's a good idea. And then it became a race car. So uh, took it out to the track. It's a whole lot different from what I remember racing years ago. We see Bobby Fazio driving the car now. Yes. So how did that happen? What's the story behind that? OK, so what happened was is uh, I was at Gainesville. Bobby and his dad were racing. And the name Fazio intrigued me, but even more that they had a Mustang like mine. I says, it's Kismet, I gotta go talk to these guys. So I first <laughs> got a hold of Mr. Fazio, who's Bob, and I said, you're not related to my cousin, are you? And he said, no. And then I talked to Bobby, so that's how it started the friendship. Bobby came to me one day, and we were talking, and he really said, I like this car a lot. He goes, I really like to drive it. So I said, I think that could be arranged. Nice. So we put him in the car. And it was like a natural. I mean, the minute he got in the car, he won right off the bat two rounds. I was like, well, that's interesting. Yeah. You know, and then we went from there with, you know, development and get it ready for him. And, and I'm very thrilled in, you know, the fact that the car does what it does, you know, so. That's awesome. So how do you feel? I love driving this car. I'm very much comfortable in 1965 Mustangs or 64 and a half Mustangs. I love Stockland, Super Stock Eliminator, so any chance I get to run a classic car in hashtag the car show, I jump at the opportunity. All right, so how's your weekend been so far? My weekend started out pretty well. I qualified well. We landed in the number 41 spot out of about 60 cars, and uh, I was driving pretty well. I had a first round matchup against Anthony Bongiovanni, and he's very fast. We beat him. Good race, and then today I had to race Brian Warner, and a very close race there. We lost that one. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about the 289 engine? Yes. In 1964, Ford produced this vehicle with a V8 engine. They had a 260 V8, and then they went to the 289. It came in a two-barrel and a four-barrel configuration. This car has a four-barrel carburetor on it. It's factored at 210 from the factory. And in 1965, they bumped it up to 225 horse. Okay. We run the 210 horse motor. Nice. So what's the NHRA um, horsepower? OK, so Ford puts this horsepower rated at 210. NHRA factored it at 188. OK. So what's the index and the general weight? Well, as Mark told you, NHRA rates it at 188 horsepower, okay. which puts us in M stock automatic. And the minimum weight is 2,800 pounds. The okay. index is 12.85 seconds. All right. With NHRA having a blueprint, what do you have to follow? So for the 64 Mustang, we have to run the stock carburetor, which is an Autolite 4100. It's okay. a very small carburetor. It's the 108. It only flows about 450 CFM, so it's very tiny. Uh, in stock limiter, you have to run the stock cam lift, which is 369 on the intake, 380 mm -hmm. on the exhaust, uh, stock heads. So 178 intake valve, 145 exhaust valve. And those are some of the blueprints we have to follow. Stock intake manifold uh, with the correct casting number on it. 
Does NHRA give you like a checklist or anything to know what you're doing with the blueprint? Like how does this actually work? Well, they can send you, summon you to the uh, teardown barn at any time okay. and tear your engine apart and make sure that all those specs are within spec. So they have done that, they did that this weekend actually. They tore apart uh, four super stock cars, okay. made them pull their carburetors off, uh, pull a cylinder head off, and they check your bore and stroke. Okay. Uh, and you know, your intake valve size, your chamber volume. So the chamber volume on the 64 Mustang is 52.6 cc's. Okay. So all of that gets checked and you gotta hope that you're within spec or they can disqualify you. Everyone watching this, make sure you check your blueprint because they are watching. So what kind of transmission am I running in this 64 Mustang? I'm gonna say it's a highly modified C4. Correct. <laughs> What's going on with the tachometer right here? Like what are the two markings for? I have one piece of tape where I like to stage and launch the car and I have another piece of tape for where I like to shift the car. So I stage the car around 2,800 RPM, anywhere from 28 to 3,000, depending on you know, if I'm trying to get a better light or okay. slow myself down. I shift the car around 6,000 RPM okay. and go through the traps around 7,000. Sweet. That's right here. Sweet. Now this car has a two-step button there. I never use it. I'm a foot brake racer. I don't really like the two-step. Stock eliminator, you have to retain all factory dash and uh, well, dash cluster instruments. I have a cheetah shifter here. And we do not have a back seat because you're allowed to take it out when you put a roll bar in. What kind of torque converter do you have? We run an ATI, eight inch torque converter, and stalls up to about 5,000 when I leave the starting line. Okay. So what kind of rear are you running? We have a nine inch Ford rear. Caltrax suspension system, and we're running a 513 gear ratio on the back. Okay. What's going on with the New York World's Fair um, license plate? So in 1964, Ford introduced the Mustang, and it was at the World's Fair in New York. Okay. So because it's that plate, and the car was introduced there, yeah. and the car is a 64, and we put the plate on the back to make it look period correct. Okay. A couple of years ago, I was at an event. I had the pleasure of meeting Carl Tasker. He liked the car. I asked him if he had any sort of a, a decal or anything, and he mailed me this. This is what they put on the 64 Mustang back in the day. It's metal versus the uh, decal version. So this engine is built by Jeff Lawrence Racing Engines out of West Hampton, Long Island, New York. Very consistent piece, solid piece. Engine's got a lot of runs on it nowadays. I probably have well over 100 runs on it myself, and uh, I'm not the only racer that's driven the car, so hats off to Jeff Lawrence for building a nice solid piece for us. Bobby, with that, I want to thank you for this interview and taking the time out to speak to us, and uh, good luck on your next race. Thank you.